Hey you guys and welcome back to the Kajo Styles Hair Show. Today I'm going to be doing a lived in bronze, which is obviously one of my faves. I specialize in lived in color so anytime I get a client that is wanting a lived in color I just get so excited because it is just one of my favorite colors to do. A lived in hair technique is going to make it so you're able to go a lot longer in between hair coloring sessions versus traditional highlights. So let's get right in. I'm going to be starting by taking bottom sections i'm going to start with a slice because she does have a little bit of a band right there and when she pulls her hair up i don't want to see any banding at all so i always start with a slice especially when it's at the bottom and they want a nice you know bright pop of color when they put their hair up so i am teasing all the way up to the root and then i'm going to be just applying that lightener giving really really nice saturation So I want to touch a little bit on why I back home during my lived in process and honestly this is any process that I do whether it's baby lights or lived in or anything like that even low lights I back home just because I think of it as insurance anytime I am applying any type of color you have and run the risk of getting harsh lines that's just the name of the game in color and I have found that back combing really helps save my butt when it comes to getting harsh lines you have a lot more control I feel like over where the lightener goes and then it also just kind of helps blur any Anything. It also saves you a ton of time at the toning bowl, whether you're trying to add a root or just wanting to tone it. So I'm always going to recommend that you back comb, especially when you're trying to do any lived in color technique. I'm going to be taking about one inch sections and not leaving a subsection. Depending on how much blonde they want in their hair and where their hair is at, I will decide on doing um, one and a half inch sections and then splitting that in half and then weaving that but for this client she has a little bit of banding in her hair and so I want to make sure that I can kick all of that out as much as possible anyway so traditional highlights just going back and forth using one inch sections and here we're gonna be starting the money piece I'm gonna be going in with two slices to the rest baby lights and again I am teasing up to that root applying really nice tension to make sure that foil doesn't slip so I don't get any bleed marks then just working my way up into the hairline Today I'm going to be using my favorite brush to lighten with and that is my Jay-Z Styles blonding brush is what I call it. I don't really know the for sure name of it but that's what I'm calling it today because I use this color brush to blonde with and I absolutely am obsessed with all of these brushes. If you guys haven't snagged some yet, do it. You will not regret it. I also have her metal bristle brush and it is absolutely incredible. It's a great multi-purpose brush. I think it's amazing. She also has a great extension line. It's where I get all of my hair extensions from. So if you guys have not checked out Jay-Z Styles Co., you need to. I'm 
All right, so right here is what we call the veil, and that's gonna be basically, as you guys can see, any hair at the very top that lays down on top of everything. So this is a very important section, making sure that we have this absolutely perfect because they see the top of their hair, right? So we wanna make sure that we are paying close attention to this and all of the hair, but most importantly, <laughs> the front pieces and then the veil, I think is probably gonna be your most important. Um, pieces to be able to make sure that we get correct. So I'm going to be taking horizontal sections, still weaving, um, taking one inch sections all the way through, and then I'm just going to work my way up the top here. Okay, so we are just applying her root. We did a 6N, 6GI, and 6WG on her root just to give her a nice dark chocolatey root. So we're gonna just start applying that. And then for her ends, we did a 9GI, 8GI, and 9VG. All right, you guys, and this is the end result. We are absolutely in love. Like I said, the best thing about Lived In Color is it looks so effortless and so seamless and it grows out so nicely. She loved it, we loved it. It was an awesome transformation. And that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one.